Lawrence Curran scheme. <laughs> and what do you do? I am a dental hygienist. Oh, cool. How long have you enjoyed that app? Um, I've been a hygienist for a little over five years, but I've been in dentistry for over 10 years. I guess you have a good relationship with your mother. I do. I do. She's a wonderful person. Um, my mom um, was an alcoholic. Um, she was certainly the epitome of a functioning alcoholic. We were still very loved and taken care of, but she was always dealing with her own demons. And there were times when it wasn't so bad and times when it was pretty bad. Um, but this past January, my mom celebrated 16 years sober. my new favorite. Um, she has a lot of meaning behind her. Um, I was born with a, a birth defect, if you will. Um, it's called, the full name is Meyer Rokotansky Custer Hauser Syndrome. <laughs> we call it MRKH. Um, and basically I was born without um, a lot of my reproductive organs. So I was born without a uterus or fallopian tubes or cervix, um, which is why I can't have children. <clears throat> um, and so that was, that's been a battle. Um, I found out when I was 18, um, and it's kind of, it, you know, you think that you're along a certain path. I think in our society, when you grow up as a woman, the ex expectation is you grow up, you get married, you have children. That's what we do. Um, so when you're 18 and you find out that that's not an option, your whole world gets turned upside down. Um, I dealt with depression for a few years. Um, I had a hard time accepting myself um, it was really hard. Um, I'm in a completely different place now. I've actually found a lot of beauty in it. I think it allows me a lot of freedom. that come along with it are grief um, and grief is not linear <laughs> it is absolutely not linear and sometimes it hits me at times that I don't understand why um, but every time it comes I'm able to kind of get over that hurdle a little easier and um, but I also allow myself to grieve I think it's perfectly okay to grieve the child that you'll never have What I asked my tattoo artist for is um, a warrior woman um, who I wanted her kind of looking over a battle scene um, as if she's been she's been victorious. Um, and her headpiece is um, is a flower called the King Fertia, which um, our National MRPH Foundation, it's called Beautiful You, has chosen as their symbol. It's a desert flower. It's very resilient. Um, so I basically gave him those guidelines and he came up with this absolutely amazing piece. <laughs> I couldn't be happier with it. Is it. And um, what I really love about her is that, you know, she's, she's beaten up and she's looking over this battle scene, but she's at peace, you know, and that's precisely where I am in my life right now. Mm -hmm.